Welcome to section one of our YouTube Ads video training. In this section, we will talk about what is YouTube advertising and why you should use YouTube ads for your business. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. What is YouTube advertising? YouTube is a website dedicated to free video sharing, allowing users to upload their own videos, view videos from other users, comment on videos, and share them on other sites. YouTube has every type of video and is the most used search engine right after Google. In 2005, three employees of PayPal created YouTube, and it is now one of Google's subsidiaries. YouTube allows users to interact with any type of video content, from music videos and movie trailers to original and educational videos, and videos from individuals to media corporations and brands. What are video ads? Video ads have advertising purposes and are called ads because they provide information about products or companies. They have a purpose and a reason. Any video on YouTube can be used as an ad. These ads appear in different ways, before a video, playing beside a video, or in search results. YouTube ads give you flexibility. As an individual or as a business, you can start to benefit from the YouTube platform. What do ads cost? With respect to cost, there are two types of ads that you can pick from, both for a price. You'll have to pay when people see more than 30 seconds of your ad. This means that you'll only have to pay for those people who engage with your content or are interested in the video. You and only you decide how much you want to invest in your video ads, so you'll feel comfortable with the money you spend. Who can I target? Besides being flexible, YouTube ads give you a variety of tools to focus on the public. You can target by age, gender, location, interests, and much more. You only have to choose where you want to reach. You should look for what kind of people can easily become interested in you, so that your investment in YouTube will be productive and not a waste of time or money. Choose the right public, because YouTube ads gives you what you need to target and make your video ads reach the places you want. How do I measure the results? With YouTube ads, you can see the analysis and results you get from your video ads. YouTube provides information like how many views your ad has, where it is viewed, and what you paid for the views. You can measure the results with adjustments anytime you think you need to, so you can improve the development of your campaign. Why You Should Use YouTube Ads for Your Business YouTube is the leader in online video and the premier destination to watch and share original videos worldwide throughout the web. Without a doubt, this opens a huge opportunity to promote brands and businesses through video marketing by providing you everything you need to profit in a simple, interactive, and fun way. What are its benefits? The following benefits will tell you why you should use YouTube ads for your business. A ton of traffic. You can lead your traffic to your website, product, or service with video ads. You can generate a ton of traffic, and you'll find less competition at a lower cost. Pay-per-view. You only pay when people watch your video. You don't pay for views that are not being converted for your business, so you won't waste money. Reach your ideal customers. You can reach people based on who they are, their locations, and on what they're interested in. You can reach them by topic, keyword, or demographics. Build a following. You can drive video views and new channel subscription opportunities and convert them into revenue for your business. Create a difference with competence. If your competence is limited to one platform, like image, web page, or even radio, video streaming and your use of it will earn you a whole new unlimited group of possible customers. A low budget. It doesn't take too much from your own wallet to enter the video streaming platform. In fact, most indie YouTubers began with nothing more than effort. Responsive Web Designing More than 70% of people are watching videos using smart devices. They are also spending their time on e-commerce websites to learn about the offers and latest updates from different stores. Marketers are targeting responsive web designing and following this trend to make their marketing videos compatible with mobile screens. This is the most important point that must be focused upon to grab customer attention. Perfect for e-commerce. 
The description of products and services helps consumers because they like to watch videos to learn more information about the products they are going to buy. This is an ongoing trend that every online retailer is following today. Immense exposure. This is the key to driving revenue, notwithstanding the obvious fact that capitalizing on this is very important. Shocking facts about YouTube ads. You'll benefit greatly by taking a look at the following facts. In March of 2013, more than 13 billion online video ads were viewed by approximately 182.5 million Americans. It is important to note that based on the most recent census, the total population of the United States was approximately 312 million. Video ads accounted for 25.1% of all the videos viewed, while only a mere 2.2% of time spent online was spent viewing online videos. E-commerce is very vast, and today every retailer is transforming their business to be online. In the last year, the number of advertisers using display ads on YouTube increased by 1,000%. No less than 84.5% of the United States audience views online video content. The average YouTube visitor accesses the site 14 times per month. More video content is uploaded to YouTube in 60 days than the three major U.S. television networks created in 60 years. More than half of all video ads run between 15 and 30 seconds, while 36% are more than 30 seconds and only 13% are less than 15 seconds. Summarily, the key to effective advertising seems to be in the ability to actively engage the viewer, ideally somewhere between the 10 and 20 second mark. On Facebook, over 150 years worth of YouTube videos are watched every day. YouTube has signed over 10,000 advertising partners to date, including Turner and Disney. Hundreds of YouTube partners are making six figures a year. In 2006, when Google bought YouTube, YouTube was losing money at a rate of $500,000 a month, despite its immense popularity. Google, however, saw its immense advertising potential. A new kind of advertising called viral advertising uses blogs and emails to promote a product. For example, Dove's Evolution of Beauty campaign was an overnight viral sensation when more than a million people watched a time-lapsed video of a model being made beautiful on YouTube. You get more clicks for every 1,000 impressions. Video banners usually have from 50 to 100% more click range. Video is a more effective format because the user notices it as something more entertaining than a normal banner. Every month, more than 1 billion people visit YouTube and watch over 6 billion hours of YouTube videos. These are a lot of potential customers, and you can decide where and when a video ad shows up and which of these potential customers sees it. Welcome to Section 2 of our YouTube Ads Video Training. In this section, we will talk about knowing your business, setting up YouTube for your business, linking your YouTube channel to your AdWords account, and creating your video for advertising with YouTube. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Knowing your business. If you're new to the business world, before you start a YouTube ads campaign, there are many factors to consider to avoid mistakes when using YouTube or any other online platform you want to use. Analyze who you are. I'm pretty sure you already have a set vision and mission for your business. Something important for you to know is that vision and mission are exactly the same for the online world. You can't change your standards just for going online. You are doing the exact same thing for your clients, but over the web, which means a lot easier, faster, and bigger, both locally and worldwide. What kind of products or services are you offering? For the product you actually offer, don't concentrate on how to improve it right now. That is something you should obviously have been doing since you started your business. What you should care about right now is how to get online. You might need to create a website to deliver it to users. You might need to create videos to explain how your product or service works, so your current and future clients can watch them. Who's your target audience? The audience you'll be focusing upon can define your success or failure. That's extremely important for the development of your company. If you target the wrong audience, you won't get great results, 
and the same can be said about being online. If you have existing clients, you probably know their interests. They have bought from you, and you know what they're looking for. The awesome thing about going online is that you can advertise to your existing clients. You can also look for people with the exact same interests as your existing clients and convert them into your clients with just a few clicks of your mouse. More than that, you can even learn a lot of things you might not know about your existing clients. For that, we can use several tools. For advertising online, you should have a clear understanding of the target audience of your business. Information such as where they live, how old are they, their gender, interests, etc. You can find that out with sites like Alexa.com. If you already have an established website, you can get that information by using Alexa.com. If you still lack that information about your business, you can simply take a look at other business websites. For example, if your business is within the health market, you can simply browse the top websites in the world and take a look at them by category. Go inside any subcategory that best suits your business and take a look at the top sites. You'll find all kinds of awesome information you can use in your YouTube ads advertising. Things like how popular a site is, how engaged are the visitors, where do visitors come from, what sites is it related to, and most importantly, who visits the site. If you have access to the paid Alexa subscription, you'll find a lot more details on all this. Analyzing your competition online. Your competitors may be selling products similar to yours and may be located geographically near your business or have a lot of demand. You can take their ideas without stealing them to improve failures you may have in your company or maybe you can just use them to innovate. There are certain things you need to know about your competitors, the way they offer their services, how they reach consumers, their prices, designs, how they distribute and deliver. Some people even make alliances with other brands. If you want to do this, create an alliance with a brand that doesn't offer the same service that you do. Look for one that will complement yours, and thus get two purchases, one for you and one for your ally. If you're moving to the online world, Alexa.com will be of great help in this matter. Setting up YouTube for your business. The first step you should accomplish is creating a Google account, which I'm pretty sure you have created a few of them already. Something awesome about Google is that one account is all you need. That means one free account gets you into everything Google. You can manage absolutely any of the eight most used Google applications, such as Gmail, Blogger, Maps, and of course, YouTube. If you have access to any one of those services, you already have a Google account. Once you have your account created, you can go straight to YouTube.com, sign in, and your YouTube account is already activated. Now that you have a Google account, besides just watching videos, you'll be able to enjoy many YouTube features, such as liking videos, saving favorites, subscribing to channels, watching later, watching history, and flagging videos, among others. YouTube can also recommend that you watch other videos according to what you've already watched, liked, and subscribed to. Something important to be aware of is that if you delete your Google account, it will delete your YouTube data, including all videos, comments, and subscriptions. Besides these additional features, if you or your business would like to have a public presence on YouTube, you must create a channel. Without a channel, everything you do in YouTube is private. If you would like to upload videos, comment on videos, create playlists, and so many other awesome marketing stuff that is available to you for free, you have to create a YouTube channel. Google accounts don't come with a YouTube channel by default. Creating a channel is easy, but something for you to be aware of is that at the moment, creating a channel can't be done in the Android or iOS YouTube apps. You must use the mobile site or a computer. There are two types of YouTube channels you can create, a personal channel with your name and a channel with your business or other name. First, click on the top right corner image. Then click on the YouTube setting icon. You'll then be able to view your account information. Right there, you'll be able to create a new channel. You can then decide what first and last name you'll use for your channel. Also, be aware that changes you make here may show up across Google services with other content you create and share, and to people you interact with. You can also use a business or other name. This can be used if you would like to create a YouTube channel for your business. 
other options will appear. You'll be able to name your channel, pick a category, agree to the page terms, and finally click on Done. With this channel, you'll be able to upload public and private videos to the channel, comment on videos using your channel name, and your new channel comes with a Google Plus page. Okay, now that you have added a brand new YouTube channel to your account, you can add a channel icon, channel art, and make sure you include your channel description. Linking your YouTube channel to your AdWords account. In order to enter the awesome video advertising world Google offers you, you must have a Google AdWords account and link it to your YouTube channel. Google AdWords is Google's PPC, pay-per-click, online advertising platform, where you are able to advertise locally and globally to attract customers with the products that they are searching for. With Google AdWords, you can get your ad on Google today and be seen by as many customers as you want at the very moment that they are searching Google for the things you offer. You only pay when they click to visit your website or call. With Google AdWords, you can attract more customers, advertise locally or globally, reach the right people at the right time, and on top of that, you only pay for results. No visit, no fee, and you can start with any budget. That's different than the majority of other PPC or PPV networks where you have to deposit $100, $500, and even $1,000 just to get started. Previously, we shared some benefits about YouTube ads. Many, if not all of those benefits, generally apply to Google AdWords, but other benefits can be noticed as well. Over a million businesses rely on Google AdWords. That's a lot, and here's why. You can get your business found. If you need to gain website visitors, skyrocket your online sales, get the phones ringing, or keep customers buying from you, Google AdWords can be the best way to achieve it. You can connect with customers across the web. Besides engaging your existing customers, you can reach other relevant customers on other websites across the entire web. Options available in the platform will let you set up your targeting by website type, audience type, or even remarketing. You can take the guesswork out of your marketing. You'll get measurable, accountable, and flexible insights around the clock. You can stop, start, pause, and test your ads with Google AdWords. You can advertise at the right time and in the right place, be it locally or globally. You can reach your customers, no matter the device they're on. In today's mobile world, you can't miss the chance to advertise on every device that your customers are using. Desktop, laptop, tablet, and mobile. Getting started is pretty simple, too. By now, you should have your Google account already created. Just log in with the same login details, and that's about it. You are redirected to your Google AdWords dashboard, and you're ready to set up your first advertising campaign. Now, you'll be able to link your AdWords account to your YouTube channel. For that, we'll need to copy the customer ID number, which is located right at the top, in the top right corner of your Google AdWords account. Then, go back to YouTube. Once you have logged in, you'll go straight to your YouTube dashboard by typing www.youtube.com slash dashboard. Next to the channel tab, you'll click on the little drop-down arrow and then click on advanced. There, you'll be able to edit some advanced settings. You can pick your country, add some channel keywords, allow or disable advertisements, and you'll have the ability to link your AdWords account. As you'll notice, Linking your YouTube channel to an AdWords for Video account allows you to promote your video and access reporting. Just paste your customer ID number and click on Next. You'll need to assign a name to the AdWords account, set permissions for the account such as view counts and calls to action, remarketing and engagement. Finally, click on Finish. Well, that was about it. Also, don't forget to go down and click on Save. Creating your video for advertising with YouTube. Knowing how to create quality videos is crucial to achieving success through advertising. Creating good videos is key to obtaining more subscribers and viewers on YouTube. You'll have to look over a few key points before going through your advertising campaign. Review YouTube's advertising policies. 
First of all, make sure to review absolutely all of YouTube's advertising policies, terms of service, or any other community guidelines. It's very important for you to know how to be part of the YouTube community. Go to support.google.com slash AdWords policy slash answer slash 2679940 to view very important technical guidelines as well as additional requirements for using the TrueView ad format. In the technical requirements, we find out that in-stream ads appear on YouTube videos and on video partner sites and apps on the GDN. For video options, it is advised to use a video less than 3 minutes in length. For the image option, use a 300 by 60 pixel image. Ad text limits are not applicable here, and for click destination, you can add your website. For video discovery ads, it says they appear on YouTube-related video search results pages. The video opens on a YouTube watch or channel page, and on video partner sites and apps on the GDN. For video options, any length is acceptable. For the image option, you can choose from four thumbnails. For ad text limits, 100 characters is the maximum for headlines. 35 characters is the maximum for each description, and clicks on your video thumbnail go to your video. Clicks on CTA overlays go to your website. We advise you take a look at all the information mentioned in this page. Review Google AdWords policies. The rules that apply to text ads generally apply to TrueView video ads too. We advise you also read the Google AdWords policies. If you go to support.google.com slash AdWords policy, you'll find all you need to know about those advertising policies as well. The policies are subdivided by prohibited content, which is content you can't advertise on the Google network, prohibited practices, which are things you can't do if you want to advertise with them, restricted content is content you can advertise but with limitations, and editorial and technical are the quality standards for the ads, websites, and apps. There are four popular ad formats advised by YouTube that can work for your business, no matter how you create your video. Introduce your business. There are some topics and questions you can use when introducing your business. First of all, you can talk about who you are. You can start by introducing yourself and your business. This will help people put a name to a face and make it easier for them to relate to you. Questions you can use to give this information can be, what motivated you to start your business? What kind of expertise do you have? And how can you make your story more personal? Then, you can let people know what you can do for them. Here you can put your passion into action. Tell them what you do better or differently, and you'll give them a powerful reason to choose your business over others. Questions you can use to give this information can be, what do people love most about your business? How do you go the extra mile? And what gives your business an edge over others? Finally, you'll give people a way to contact you. It is vital to let people know how they can find you. You can include things like your email, phone number, street address, YouTube channel, and company website. Highlight your product. For highlighting your product, here are some topics and questions you can use. First, you must give people an overview of your product or service. Breaking down your product or service is a great way to help people see all the work you put into it. Questions you can use to give this information can be, What is your product or service? How does your product or service work? And does your product or service have any special features? You can even talk about what makes your product or service stand out from the crowd. Show what your offer can do that others can't. Show them what elements make your product unique that could help people become interested in it. Questions you can use to give this information can be, How does your business make people's lives better? How do you make a lasting impression? And what part of your business makes it different than others? Finally, show people where they can learn more about your product. It is vital to let people know where they can get more info. You can include things like your email, phone number, street address, YouTube channel, and company website. Create Promotions For creating a promotion, the first thing you want to do is grab people's interest. Excitement is key in your promotion. Questions you can use to give this information can be, What is your promotion's main draw? What about your promotion will surprise people? And what makes your promotion an exclusive event? You can then fill people in on the details. Let people know why they're getting excited. Make it clear so it will be easier for them to remember. 
Questions you can use to give this information can be, when does your promotion begin and end? Are there exceptions people should know about? And is there a special reason you're having this promotion? Finally, let people know how they can participate by giving them all necessary information. Educate your customers. Educating your customers about your business is a really fun way to engage your audience. First of all, you need to build trust. Introductions are key for this. People will be more interested in what you have to say when they feel like they know you. Questions you can use to give this information can be, What experiences or training do you have? Are you proud of your track record? And do you have fans that love talking about you? Then, give people a 101 on what you do. A crash course on your product or service is a great way to show people what kind of benefit you provide. Questions you can use to give this information can be, Would it help to show your product or service in action? Can you simplify parts of your business? And can you provide follow-up advice and tips? Now, you know what to do, so let people know where they can get more information. You just saw four different awesome examples for creating your video. Once you are done with it, you'll need to upload it. Once you are logged in, simply click on Upload and select your video file to upload. Double-click on it, and while uploading, you can add the title, description, and tags. Finally, click on Publish, and the upload will continue by itself. Welcome to Section 3 of our YouTube Ads Video Training. In this section, we will talk about creating your campaign, creating the ad group and ad, and managing your video ad campaign. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Creating your campaign. Creating your campaign is absolutely simple. First of all, go to www.google.com slash AdWords and click on Sign In. You'll then be redirected to create your first campaign. If it's the first time creating your campaign, you'll be welcomed to the Welcome to AdWords page, where you'll notice the four steps you need to follow to create your first campaign. Step 1. Choose your budget. Step 2. Create your ads. Step 3. Select keywords that match your ads to potential customers. And Step 4. Enter your billing information. Those steps are for creating a custom AdWords campaign. The steps for creating your video ad campaign will be slightly different. Previously, you linked your AdWords account from inside your YouTube account. Right before creating your campaign, you'll probably see a notification for this. We advise you take a look at it and authorize the linking of your AdWords account with your YouTube account. If you don't see that notification, you should click on the setting icon located in the top right corner of the page. Click on Linked Accounts. Click on YouTube and you should be able to see a YouTube invitation to confirm your YouTube account to your YouTube channel. Simply click on View Request and click on Confirm. As you'll notice, you can even add a YouTube channel from here, too. Okay, awesome. Once you're done with that, go back to the Campaigns tab. To continue, click on Create Your First Campaign. The first thing you'll do is type a campaign name, or you can just leave it like it is if you want. You then need to pick the right campaign type. Your campaign type determines where your ad shows and which settings and options are available to you. Click the arrow and select Video. There are three different choices for ads. They are Standard, which are ads driving views, awareness, and conversions. Mobile app installs, which are ads encouraging people to install your mobile app. And Shopping, which are ads encouraging people to buy products listed in your Google Merchant Center account. Just pick Standard for this one. For future campaign creation, if you'd like to use the same settings used in a previous campaign, you can load its settings. You then will set up your daily budget. Your daily budget is the average amount you're comfortable spending each day on this campaign. The delivery method determines how your budget, when limited, is spent throughout the day. You can choose Standard, which will show ads evenly over time. Accelerated will show ads as quickly as possible. Network settings let you choose where your ads appear. For YouTube search to show video ads on YouTube search results pages, you'll use video discovery ads only. For YouTube to show video ads on the YouTube homepage, watch, and channel pages, you'll use in-stream and video discovery ads. 
video partners extend the reach of video ads to a collection of sites and apps in the Google Display Network, GDN. You can use in-stream and video discovery ads for this. Location targeting lets you show your ads to people located in or who shows interest in a geographic location. From now on, you'll apply what you learned in knowing your business. You should decide in which location, language, and devices you want your ads to appear. You can choose a country, a city, a region, or even a postal code. You must also define what languages your customers speak. Finally, you must decide what operating systems, mobile devices, or carriers and Wi-Fi you want to apply to your campaign. For the advanced settings, you are able to pick your schedule, which means a start date, end date, and ad scheduling. For the ad delivery, you are able to set the ad rotation, the frequency capping, and the content exclusions. Just read the instructions shown, which are self-explanatory. Then, click on Save and Continue. Creating the Ad Group and Ad You already set up your first campaign, so you'll be immediately directed to create your ad group and ad for that campaign. First, you'll be able to name your ad group. You can just leave it like it is if you want. Then, it is time to add your video. You can search for a video or paste the URL from YouTube. We advise you go to your YouTube channel, look for the video you uploaded, open it, copy the URL, and paste it. This will help you make sure you add the right video URL. You'll then be able to decide which video ad format you would like to use, in-stream ad or video discovery ad. For in-stream, your in-stream video ad plays before another video on either YouTube or the Google Display Network, depending on network settings. Viewers can choose to skip your ad after a few seconds. You pay when a viewer watches 30 seconds of your video or the duration if it's shorter than 30 seconds or engages with your video, whichever comes first. The display URL is the website address that appears in your ad. In video ads, the URL might show up in the TrueView in-stream ad that people can click. It's typically the URL of the website or web page you're advertising. YouTube shows people a display URL to give the viewers a clear idea of which website they'll reach when they click your ad. The display URL in your ad must match the domain that people will land on when they click your ad. The final URL or landing page is where people go after clicking your ad. Here, you'll enter the exact URL of your landing page, which is supposed to be inside of the domain you specified in the display URL. For Ad URL Advanced Options, you are able to set up some tracking and custom parameters, which I advise you to leave it like it is for now. A companion banner is an image or group of images that appears next to your ad. YouTube recommends that you use auto-generated images from videos in your channel, but you can also upload your own image. For video discovery, your video discovery ad includes an image and some text. It can run on YouTube search results next to related videos on the YouTube homepage or on partner sites and apps. This ad will look differently depending on the website or where on YouTube it appears. You pay only when someone clicks your ad to watch your video. You can decide on a thumbnail to show, a headline, description 1, description 2, and landing page. The landing page is the YouTube page that viewers end up on after clicking your ad, which is different than in-stream. So, this means if you would like to send traffic to your website, use the in-stream option. And if you would like to send traffic to your YouTube channel, use the video discovery option. Then, set up your ad. First, add a title. You can assign the maximum CPV. Maximum CPV is the highest price you are willing to pay for someone to view your video when it is run as an ad. Finally comes the targeting, which is another chance for you to apply what you learned in knowing your business. By default, your ads will show to all viewers. Optionally, you can refine your audience. For demographics, you can decide any gender, any age, or any parental status. For interest, you can choose any interest. There are four other options to narrow your targeting. Keywords, placements, remarketing, and topics. Once you are done with everything, you should click on Save Ad Group. Once done, you'll be redirected to your campaign's dashboard. 
and straight to the campaign you have just set up. Managing your video ad campaign. First of all, don't get scared by the amount of buttons you'll find in the campaign dashboard after setting up your first advertising campaign. The best way to learn how everything works is by simply clicking on everything you see and by clicking on each question mark whenever it appears. Right on top, you'll see the principal menu. In the Home tab, you'll be able to find all kinds of reporting statistics. You'll be able to see what you have just set up in your first ad campaign as well. In the Campaigns tab, you'll be able to take a closer look at your campaign's performance, as well as the opportunity to create new campaigns. In the Opportunities tab, Google shows you advertising opportunities. Think of this tab as a personal assistant who customizes opportunities for your account. It can help you discover new keywords, improve your bids and budgets, and more. These are automatically generated opportunities. Google can't guarantee they will improve your campaign's performance. You are always responsible for the changes you make to your campaigns. The Reports tab is where you can create sophisticated yet simple pivot tables and charts from your performance data. In the Tools tab, you'll be able to access some awesome tools, which will be of great help to you. To the right of your account, you'll be able to access the Billing Area, Account Settings, Linked Accounts, Send Feedback, and Help. You'll also notice important notifications. Note the vital notification you see. Your account isn't active. To activate your account and start running your ads, you must enter your billing information. The Campaigns tab is where you'll be hanging out most of the time for managing your video ad campaign. In your left menu, you'll see several tabs listed. You'll see the All Campaigns tab, the All Drafts tab, All Experiments tab, the Shared Library tab, the Bulk Operations tab, and the Labels. In the main area, you'll see displayed whatever tab you decided to view. In this case, all campaigns are shown, as well as all ad groups, settings, ads, videos, and the video targeting you have set up in your entire Google AdWords account. If you can, take a look at a specific campaign and click on it. According to the type of campaign you decided to create at the beginning, the correct tabs for that campaign type will be shown. You can also take a deeper look into the ad group, as well as the ad you created inside of that ad group. The Targeting tab, in this case Video Targeting, is the place you'll be able to spend most of your time to optimize your video ad, make the necessary changes, and get the most out of the traffic you'll get from YouTube. When you created the ad group and ad, you may have noticed there are six different video targeting options you could pick from to narrow the traffic sent to your video. The more narrow the traffic, the more targeted people will see your ad. The more targeted people who see your ad, the more conversions you'll have. The full blue dots indicates that you are using those targeting options. If you would like to add the others, you can simply click on it and add it. If you would like to add new ad groups to your campaign, you can do so. If you would like to add more ads to your ad groups, you can do so as well. There are all kinds of awesome things you can do with Google AdWords. You just need to click over the area and see how it works. It will take you a few minutes to learn how to manage your video ad campaign. Welcome to section 4 of our YouTube Ads video training. In this section, we will talk about campaigns, ad group, and content exclusions, calls to action overlays, remarketing, and additional YouTube ads tricks. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Campaign, ad group, and content exclusions. As mentioned before, video targeting is where you'll hang out the most to make your video ad campaign as profitable as possible. There are several things you can do for optimizing your video advertising campaign, and one of them is by using the Exclusions option. For exclusion, we mean the ability to prevent your ads from showing in certain specific cases of your choice. As mentioned before, there are six different targeting methods you can apply to your video ad campaign to narrow your targeting to exactly the audience of your choice. You can take a look at how each of those targeting methods are doing for your ads in the Video Targeting tab. 
Once you notice your ad isn't relevant to a particular topic or demographic you already added, you can consider adding that topic or demographic as an exclusion. That way you are saving time, money, and effort by avoiding people that are not going to convert very well when they see your ad. Okay, let me show you how to do that. Once you are logged into your Google AdWords account, make sure you are on the Campaigns tab. Then select a video campaign you already have set up. You'll then click on Video Targeting. There you'll find the six targeting options, Demographics, Interests, Remarketing, Placements, Topics, and Keywords. Remember that those with the blue dots activated are the ones you decided to use during the creation of your video ad campaign. If you would like to activate others, you just need to click on it and add it to your ad. Okay, when talking about exclusions, you just need to select the one of your choice. By going down the page, you'll notice other options for that specific targeting option. For example, for the demographics option, you'll see you can select from age, gender, and parental status. Right below that, you'll see the exclusion options. As you can see, there are two types of exclusions, campaign and ad group exclusions, and the content exclusions. The campaign and ad group exclusions is a specific exclusion for you to apply, related to the targeting option specifically. For example, if you click on the plus exclusion button, you'll need to define if you'd like to add a demographic exclusion to your entire campaign or to a specific group. You need to decide which of the options to exclude from your advertising and click on Save. As you'll notice, do you see how your exclusion has been applied to your campaign? It means the video ad won't be shown to those particular people, in this case to people older than 65 years of age. If you want to remove that exclusion, just select it and click on Remove. Content exclusion works the same, but it is more related to controlling the types of content your ads will show over top of. Call to Action Overlays One of the interactive features Google AdWords offers for your video ad is what is called a Call to Action Overlay. In marketing, a Call to Action, or CTA, is an instruction to a viewer to provoke an immediate response, normally using an imperative command such as, Call now, find out more, visit a store today, or click here to visit my website. It has been proven for many years that when inviting people to do exactly what you want them to do, they will just do it, because there is a clear invitation to do something specific, which they can perform in that exact moment. Now, I will show you how Google also understands this power, giving you the ability to use it in your video advertising campaigns. Once you are logged into your Google AdWords account, make sure you are on the Campaigns tab. Then select a video ad campaign you already have set up. You'll then click on Videos. There you'll see the video you decided to advertise in your video ad. Next to Analytics, you'll need to click on that little arrow. Then click on Edit Call to Action. The goal for this Google AdWords interactive feature is to show an overlay to drive clicks to your site. You simply need to add a headline, display URL, the destination URL, an image which is optional, and the ability to enable the overlay on mobile devices. At the start of a fully expanded video, your call to action or CTA annotation will appear in the lower part of the video. After a few seconds, the CTA annotation will minimize to a thumbnail image. Afterwards, you'll simply click on Save. As you'll notice, working with AdWords for video is really simple. There are all kinds of outstanding marketing strategies you can apply to your video advertising campaign, all of which are prepared to find real success for your advertising. Remarketing, another awesome marketing weapon that Google AdWords can offer to your video ad campaigns is a well-known and proven to convert marketing strategy called remarketing. Remarketing is a pretty famous marketing strategy, which helps you reach people who have visited your website, used your app, or have done any marketing activity related to your business over the web. For example, if you use Google products to take advantage of remarketing, previous visitors or users can see your ads as they browse websites that are part of the Google Display Network, 
or as they search for terms related to your products or services on Google. Apply to video ads. With remarketing, you can decide to show your ads to millions of viewers across YouTube and video partner sites based on their past interactions with your videos or YouTube channel. This is also known as video remarketing, reinforcing your message with people who have already seen your videos or channel and will easily help you find better results. There are four main benefits you can take advantage of when using video remarketing. Improved ROI. Showing video ads to people really interested in your product or service will surely increase your return on investment, or ROI. Broader scope. By going beyond YouTube's vast network, your video ad can reach potential customers on your remarketing list. Efficient pricing. With CPV bidding, you'll be able to pay for video views and other video interactions, such as clicks on the call-to-action overlays, CTAs, cards, and companion banners. Flexibility. You can remarket based on actions specific to your YouTube videos, including when viewers like, dislike, comment on, or share your video. Okay, cool. Now, let me show you how all of this works. Everything starts with what are called remarketing lists. These remarketing lists are created by linking your YouTube account to your AdWords account. That's why it's a good idea to link your YouTube account to your AdWords account right before setting up your campaigns. Once you link accounts, you can create remarketing lists that reach people who have done the following YouTube-related actions. People who watch any of your videos. People who take an action, like, dislike, comment, or share on any of your videos. People who view your video as a true view video ad, and people who visit or subscribe to your YouTube channel. As you notice, all is related to a specific action performed on any of your videos or channels. You can then use these lists in your targeting settings for new or existing video campaigns. The first thing you must do is create a video remarketing list. First of all, sign into your AdWords account. Then click Shared Library in the left navigation pane and then click Audiences. Under YouTube Users, click Create List. Then select a list type. There are several options, so read carefully to decide what you want. Then you'll select a YouTube channel. Give the list a name and a membership duration. Membership duration is the number of days a user's cookie stays on the list if the user doesn't interact with your video or channel again. The default duration is 30 days. Then decide the membership status. Open means that new visitors are still being added to a particular remarketing list. Closed means that no new visitors are added to the remarketing list. Select your initial list size of choice. Something important for you to notice is that a remarketing list will be eligible to run when it contains 100 users. Finally, click on Create List. Once your remarketing list has gained interactions from at least 100 viewers, you can use it for your ads and campaigns. Select the remarketing list you want to use while creating a new campaign or as a target for an existing video campaign. Once your remarketing list is ready, you'll be able to add it to an existing video campaign. On the All Campaigns drop-down menu, choose an existing video campaign. Click the Video Targeting tab and then click the Remarketing sub-tab. Add the remarketing lists you want by clicking on Plus Remarketing. The list you have just created will be listed there. You just need to add it and then click Save. That was a little technical, but pretty easy, right? It only takes a few minutes to apply if you follow the step-by-step -step video showing you how it's done. Additional YouTube Ads Tricks Add Cards to Your Videos You can add cards to interact with viewers in your video ads. Cards can point viewers to a specific URL. Use cards to show your viewers other videos, websites, channels, and also calls to action depending on the card type you use. To add a card, click your channel icon at the top of the right corner. If you have created several channels already, select the one of your choice and click Creator Studio. Then click Video Manager. Then pick the video you want to add cards to, click the drop-down arrow, and choose Cards. Choose the type of card you want to add and click Create, and then just Create it. Verify your account by phone. 
Verifying your account will provide you with more access to the YouTube platform. To do this, go to www.youtube.com slash verify and follow the steps. Select your country and choose how you want YouTube to deliver your verification code. You can choose the language of the message, put in your phone number, and click on Submit. When you get the message, enter the verification code and click on Submit. That's all. Now your account is verified. Keep in mind that only two accounts can be verified per phone number per year. Add annotations to your videos. To add annotations, click your channel icon at the top of the right corner. If you have created several channels already, select the one of your choice and click Creator Studio. Then click Video Manager. Then pick the video you want to add annotations to. Click the drop-down arrow and choose Annotations, and you'll have different types to select. The types are Speech Bubble, Note, Title, Spotlight, and Label. Embed a subscription button to all your videos. Adding a subscribe button to a video is an amazing way viewers can easily subscribe to your channel. This option is very comfortable for them. To add a subscribe button, go to Creator Studio. Then on the left side, click Channel, and then click Branding. To add a subscribe link button, click on Add a Watermark. Upload the logo of your brand and click on Save. You can select when you want your watermark to appear. This watermark will show up on all your videos. Get music and sound effects in your videos for free. Use the YouTube Audio Library to add music and effects to your videos. Go to Creator Studio, then click on Video Manager. Click the arrow next to the video to which you want to add audio, and then click on Audio. There you will find a big list of audio files you can use in your video. This is if you want to replace the original audio of your video. This is an awesome choice, so you don't have to search all over the web to add music to your videos. How to add effects to your videos. Go to Creator Studio, then click on Video Manager. Click the arrow next to the video to which you want to add the effects, and then click on Enhancements. Now you have the different options for effects you can add. In Quick Fixes, you'll find Auto Fix Stabilize, Edit the Fill Light, Contrast, Saturation, Color Temperature, and you can change the speed of the video with Slow Motion and Time Lapse. In Filters, you have a variety of filters you can apply to your video. With the blurring effect, you can blur faces, which will automatically find and blur faces, or you can use custom blurring. While you are applying the effects, you'll see the original video, and you can preview it with enhancements on. Get the most out of in-stream ads. In-stream ads are inspired in a classic TV-like format that delivers your message to your ideal audience. There's a variety of in-stream ads, but TrueView in-stream, in-stream select, and standard in-stream are available on mobile devices. Mobile devices are a great way to get traffic, so keep this in mind. The viewers can skip this ad after 5 seconds, so be sure to get their attention before they can skip your ad. You can present a problem that you can solve, so use the first 5 seconds for that, something quick and engaging. In the next seconds, solve the problem you present and invite them with a call to action. Do this for 30 seconds to reduce ad spend. Finally, continue with more reasons why the user should make the call to action and get to the solution you're providing them, in case they stay for over 30 seconds. Get the most out of the in-display ads. In-display ads appear to the right of the featured video and above the video suggestions list in YouTube search results or on websites that belong to the Google Display Network. With in-display video ads, you need to provide value first before asking for a call to action. Create videos with useful content for your display ads. After you finish, you can then ask for an exchange like getting a PDF, make a subscription, see another video, go to your website, or make a purchase. Make your video ads easy to find. Your videos should be findable both within and outside of YouTube. Create a video ad that targets your audience's searches and grabs their attention. Include keywords in your title, description, and tags. Add a colon after your initial keywords and rephrase your title for maximum effect. For example, Secrets of Diabetes, the things you didn't know about the cons of diabetes. Add a URL for more information like a detailed article, PDF, product, your page, etc., and make your description as keyword-rich as possible to be found more easily. Include any and all related keywords in the tags field, so they're easy to manage and control. Add a brand intro to your videos. First, you need to create an intro with your logo or brand name. 
Try to make it look professional and have a duration of three seconds or less for your video ads. For normal videos, you can create an intro of five to 10 seconds. You can select this intro for all your videos. Go to Creator Studio, then click on Channel, then click on Branding, click on Add a Branding Intro and follow the steps. If you don't have the option or your account isn't verified, you can do it with a video editor. Get your two videos one after the other and then upload this video to YouTube. Welcome to Section 5 and the last section of our YouTube Ads video training. In this section, we will talk about 10 do's you should consider for a successful YouTube advertising venture, 10 don'ts you should avoid for a successful YouTube advertising venture, premium YouTube advertising tools and services, and shocking YouTube advertising case studies. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. 10 Do's You Should Consider for a Successful YouTube Advertising Venture Create Professional Ads To be relevant to your viewers and make them take action, you must use good content by making optimal descriptions about yourself and the product or service you offer. Your goal is to make a good impression. For this, you need to use your content the right way. Keep Analytics in Mind You need to always check the analysis of your ads. This will help you and will allow you to see what type of video ad or strategy has the best results so you can learn what action to take to make your campaign more effective. Be clear, honest, and direct. Consider these three factors. By being clear, you won't create confusion for your prospects. By being honest, you can prove to them that they can trust you and by being direct, you'll let them know what you want. Always interact and comment. Interacting with your prospects will help get you a lot of feedback. On your video ads, place calls to action at the end. Invite them to know you, answer all their questions, and be open-minded. Collaborate with someone that is viral on YouTube. A good idea could be to collaborate with another channel or person that is already viral on YouTube. Make a video ad so those who see the ad will see you as someone relevant as well. This person must be appropriate for your product to make your work look real. Use tracking links. In your video ads, include hyperlinks to your website, landing page, or other destinations. This is one of the best ways to redirect your traffic and keep getting the benefits of YouTube ads. You can even create separate tracking links for different video ads. Compare them and see which type of video ads are sending people back to your site. Know your audience. Simply knowing what kind of people want to know more about you will help you a lot. You can get their feedback to help you focus your upcoming ads, get the right content for that audience, find the best format to allow them to use your information, etc. Keep your ads interesting and attractive. Use all the tools that you possess to demonstrate to your customers how powerful your service or tool can be. Show them what you're worth and never stop being real. Use the TrueView ad formats. The TrueView format provides viewers with the choice and control of advertisements they want to see. With this, the viewers have the flexibility to select the ads they think are relevant. What are you waiting for? With TrueView ads, you'll get viewers that really want to see what you offer. Target audience via mobile ads. Mobile ads are the best to get traffic and viewers to your video ad. Mobile ads have been analyzed, and statistics conclude that mobile ads allow you to get more audience to become viral. Do not underestimate them. Ten Don'ts You Should Avoid for a Successful YouTube Advertising Venture don't create negative content. Why? This really does not look good. You should never look bad to your competition or make bad comments about anyone. Your goal should always be to show what you're worth and what you can achieve for your clients. Never speak negatively about another. You'll only defile yourself. Don't spam. Just don't. 
Spamming is very annoying for everyone, and all you'll do is scare people. I'm not saying you can't reach more people, of course, but do not overdo it. Don't be boring. Make video ads that won't bore viewers. Create ads as dynamically as possible, with diversity and breadth while being simple. If viewers get bored with your content, they won't consider your content relevant and won't take action. Make sure your customers can see how fantastic your product is. Don't use long-form video ads. This can bore them, too. Create ads that are between 2 to 5 minutes, and no more than 10 minutes. Use video ads with a simple and direct message. If they see that your video ad is too long, they could think it is a waste of time and look for video ads with a duration shorter than yours. Don't forget the custom thumbnails. Create custom thumbnails for your ads that benefit your brand awareness and marketing. Randomly selected thumbnails from the video may not show what is in the video ad. Don't use too much information. Don't overdo it with information. This will only confuse the viewer. As I said earlier, what you need to do to make your video ads more effective is to create easy messages that are simple to digest, so the viewers will understand it with no effort. Don't share poorly produced video ads. Poorly produced videos will get you nowhere. Record yourself performing in your ads. This will benefit your brand. Keep in mind, don't do mediocre things that nobody wants to see. Don't forget tags and description. The tags are the keywords of your video ads. Tags help people find you more easily by searching something they like. Keywords and keyword phrases should correspond with whatever describes your video accurately and obviously use the words and phrases that users will enter into search engines to find content. Don't just promote. Don't focus on simply promoting yourself. Build a relationship with your audience so you can get feedback. Concentrate on creating more quality items that define you as a brand. Promote and establish a strong relationship with your audience to keep them with you. Don't try to look perfect. Don't try to make your ads look too perfect. It can make your customers think that you're fake and what you're selling isn't real. Keep being real and as natural as possible to show your followers that you are trustworthy. YouTube Ads Tools and Services Keyword Tool This tool will help you create a video that will get a lot of views, give you ideas for keywords that can really work for you, and generate lists of tags. For your video ads, keywords are one of the best ways to target your audience. V-Roll If you want your video ads to be effective, you need to use this amazing tool. V-Roll can help you manage your video ads and publish your ads in the right places. V-Roll makes video advertising simple, easy, and super effective. YouTube Director for Business Director will guide you through the process of creating a video, making it easier to create a perfect video for your ad and helping you publish it on YouTube. The steps you need to follow in YouTube Director are simple. Choose a template to introduce your business and show potential customers who you are. Shoot and edit your video, adding text, animations, and music. Finally, start promoting your business by uploading your finished video. Google Trends With Google Trends, you can see what the popular search queries are right now and take traffic from them. In the search bar, write a topic and click on Search. Then, click on Web Search and click on YouTube Search. You'll see interests based on time and region. YouTube Trending YouTube Trends help you to know what is trending right now. You can go to this service on YouTube and take a look at examples of video ads. YouTube Autocomplete This works in the search bar of the YouTube platform. When you enter a letter or word, you can see the most researched and you'll know what type of content you'll need for your ad. Video Advertising Research This tube will help you create an effective video ad reveal your competitors' ad strategies, and provide anything you need to create an amazing video campaign. Director on Site This is a special tool from YouTube to connect you with your customers. They'll shoot a professional video for your business directed by specialists when you spend 
$150 to advertise on YouTube. You simply plan your video and choose a template. You'll be given one to two hours for script writing, two to three hours for your filmmaker to shoot, edit, and deliver your video. Finally, an ads specialist will get your video ads set up and help you reach the right audience for your business. Open Slate Brand advertisers use Open Slate data to make more effective YouTube ads. You can take a tour of the tool or build a slate. Ad Parlor This tool enables advertisers to achieve brand safety and scale throughout video campaigns. Paying special attention to quantity and diversity of videos to create exclusive segments of inventory with transparency, brand safety, and continuous optimization. YouTube Ads Case Studies Driving Sales for Retailers Wayfair, an American e-commerce company, and Sephora, a French line of cosmetics, launched a campaign as a team. Wayfair and Sephora wanted their YouTube content to drive sales, increase audience engagement, revenue, and conversions, all through TrueView. They used how-to content to engage viewers, and incorporated the e-commerce experience into video content for shopping. Results Wayfair gained a revenue increase of 300% in performance versus similar campaigns, and 74% of viewers watched at least half of the ad. Sephora saw an 80% lift in consideration and an average viewing time of nearly two minutes. Chevrolet drives brand awareness. Chevrolet is an American automotive brand. Chevrolet wanted to implement a great strategy to reach a targeted audience of families with active lifestyles increase awareness, and drive brand consideration on YouTube. They created an interactive TrueView ad with part of an engagement ad and used affinity segments to reach the right audience. Results. They saw 577,000 engagements in 14 weeks, a 1.44% engagement rate with a total engagement time equal to 122 days and 38.6 million impressions. Snapfish by HP. Snapfish is a digital photo printing service. Snapfish executed a campaign for Black Friday and Cyber Monday to drive sales. They produced two eight-second creative video ads with strong calls to action at the end, running as a true view ad. Results. They cut the CPV to 30% of the original rate, which was obtained in a previous true view test. Also, CPCs on TrueView were 14% cheaper than they were on paid searches during the same time period. Mucinex finds a cure to the crowded marketplace. Mucinex needed to stand out in a competitive market. Its team pulled together to tackle YouTube's TrueView in a bold new way. By pairing both targeting and a strong creative, Mucinex mounted a campaign. Results. Mucinex got 16 million TrueView views a 250% increase in Google search volume, a 67% lift in ad recall, and jumped 10.4% in purchase intent. HP uses compelling YouTube ads. HP is an American multinational information technology company. They wanted to prove that digital video would engage millennial audiences. HP connected with engaged YouTube viewers, driving increases in key brand metrics like ad recall and video completion rate. The HP Instant Ink campaign generated 12 million impressions, a 91% ad recall increase, a 93% viewability, and a 76% video completion rate. The HP Premium PC campaign generated 84 million impressions, a 58% ad recall lift, a 95% viewability, and an 85% video completion rate. Benefit Cosmetics reaches female brow browsers. Benefit Cosmetics is a makeup brand. They wanted to spread the love of makeup to a wider audience. Benefit Cosmetics used TrueView Discovery to share eyebrow tutorials and boost brand awareness on YouTube. Results. They had 1.2 million paid views, 663,000 earned views, and a 20% increase in channel subscriptions. Amazing, isn't it? Tradera uncovers YouTube's ability to deliver sales through marketing mix modeling. Tradera is a leading online commerce service. 
They wanted to understand the impact on sales from different media channels and learn how to optimize online and offline media to increase sales. They collected over 1,000 days of continuous data for approximately 200 businesses, marketing and macro variables. Then they built a marketing mix model that separated the different media channels' effect on sales. Results. YouTube helped deliver nearly 12%, 2.4 percentage points, of media-influenced sales, including paid search, and helped deliver nearly 31% of media-influenced sales, excluding paid search. Their conclusion was that YouTube is 22% more cost-effective than TV. Libracy improves brand recall by 300% with logo placement. Libracy is a Nordic feminine hygiene business owned by SCA Hygiene Products, a global company founded in Sweden. Libracy's objective was to drive brand awareness and consideration. They repurposed TV commercials for use as a YouTube TrueView ad, created an alternative version of an ad containing branding throughout it, and tested the two versions against each other. Results Among skippers, the fully branded ad generated nearly 300% more brand recall with no drop in engagement or view-through rate. Taking into account both skippers and non-skippers, overall brand recall rose by 200%, and the fully branded version imposed no additional cost on the campaign. Vero Moda's TrueView Campaign Vero Moda is a chic, modern fashion label. Their objective was to drive brand awareness and gain social media followers. They initiated TrueView advertising on YouTube using geographic, demographic, remarketing, affinity, and interest-based targeting. Results. They got 195,682 views across four European markets with an average view-through rate of 21%. YouTube proved effective at driving sales for Snickers. Snickers is a brand name chocolate bar. Snickers launched a new campaign with Mr. Bean called You're Not You When You're Hungry. The campaign tested a mix of TV and online video activity to see whether the media plan across channels and devices was optimized to maximize in-store sales. Results. The campaign reached over 20 million people on TV and on YouTube, but YouTube was a much more effective advertising channel than TV. It delivered more than double the ROI of TV for each dollar spent on reaching the main shopper.